Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 1647, minimum deletions to make character frequencies unique. Let's read the question prompt. A string S is called good if there are no two different characters in S that have the same frequency. Given a string S, return the minimum number of characters you need to delete to make S good. The frequency of a character in string S is the number of times it appears in the string. For example, in the string AAB, the frequency of A is 2, while the frequency of B is 1. Let's look at an example. If we're given the string S, AAA, BBB, CCC, what's the number that we need to delete? It's going to be 2. Why is that? Well, let's look at the character frequencies. We can see that A has a count of what? 3, right? There's 3 A's in the string. B has a count of 3, and C has a count of 2. So immediately we can see that two characters have the same count, and we're not allowed to have that, right? It's not good if two characters have the same frequency. And remember, this question is talking about deletions, so we can't just add counts to get to a better answer. We have to delete things. So that means that either we have to delete from A or we have to delete from B. So let's just say that we're going to delete from B. So we remove one from B and now we're left with two. The problem now is that B and C also have the same amount now. So we have a choice. We can either delete one from B or delete one from C. Either way, you know, let's just say we do it from B. Now we have only one B. So our count is now three, two, one, which means that every single character in this string is going to have a um, unique count and that would be our solution right we deleted two so we deleted one from B um, you know we deleted two from B and that's why we have two and that's how we got it we could have deleted two from A we could have deleted you know one from A and one from C or one from B and one from C it would have been the same answer of two so intuitively this makes sense but how do we actually want to solve this problem using code Let's think about it. So we looked at an example and we saw how intuitively we could derive the solution, but how are we going to figure out an algorithm to actually solve this problem? Well, if you notice, one of the first things that we did was create a dictionary of our counts, which is going to be useful for us because we're going to want to know, you know, the count of each character. So that way we can have access to it very quickly. So this part won't change. One of the first things that we want to do is create a dictionary that's going to keep track of the count of each of our characters. But remember, we have to get to a point where, you know, each of the characters has, um, you know, a unique frequency, right? They cannot be separate. So that tells us that we're going to need some sort of data structure to track, um, you know, values uh, for characters and their counts, right? Because we want to, in constant time, know whether or not a count has been used before. We don't want to have to iterate through our dictionary to check, okay, well, you know, if we're looking for a count of three, we don't want to have to go through the entire dictionary to find out whether or not something has that count. So we're probably going to want a set here to keep track of our frequencies, right? And what we want to do is we want to also solve this in the most efficient way possible. We don't want to be wasting uh, iterations through our dictionary. So ideally, we should try to do this in one pass, right? So here's what I'm proposing that we do. I say that we first create this dictionary of the counts. And then what we're going to do is we're going to iterate over the keys and the values of this dictionary. And what we're going to do is if the current frequency for that character is, you know, greater than zero, and we have already seen that frequency for another letter. So basically, you know, we're going to put frequencies after we finish processing them into this set. We're going to put it. Uh, so sorry, we're going to go through the keys uh, with, you know, the key and the value pairs in this dictionary. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, if, um, you know, a value here is greater than zero and, you know, its value is already in the set then what we want to do is we want to just keep decrementing that value until we get to a point where it's not in the set. Then we'll stick with that, you know, count for that character and then move on. And then the next character we see, 
we'll just keep decrementing until we found a new um, character or you know we delete it completely because we could get to the point where we just delete characters so we don't have to worry about if we just delete a character completely that's fine right um, we can just if it goes to zero cool no problem so let's kind of look through what our example would be uh, and see how we would do this so you know we still have this dictionary right we still have whoops so a still has a count of three B has a count of three and C has a count of two so like I said we have this set here which is gonna represent our counts and you know this is that set and it, at the moment it's empty right we haven't seen any so we're gonna iterate through our pairs here and we're gonna say okay what are we gonna do so we're gonna iterate it so now we're working with a and the count of three so what we want to do is okay is this frequency greater than zero yes it is and have we seen this frequency before no we haven't so that means that we can just stick with three for a so we don't have to do any sort of decrements yet so we're simply gonna say okay well let's put the frequency three into our set and call it a day okay cool so now we've exhausted this one so now we're gonna be at you know B and three so we're gonna say okay well you know this character obviously has a count so we need to process it and have we seen the count three before so we're gonna check into our set and we're gonna see okay well we've seen three so that means that we have to decrement B's count because we can't have duplicate counts here right we've already used the three for the a so what we need to do is keep decrementing this count until we find a count that isn't used yet so we're gonna decrement it by one and we're gonna say okay two has that been used before no it hasn't so we're gonna put two into here and we will have processed our you know um, our B here now we're gonna get to the C so C has a count of two and we're gonna check okay is the count greater than zero yes it is and have we used two before yes we have so that means that we have to decrement this count until we find the first unique count that is greater than zero for this character so we're simply gonna say okay we're gonna chop this it's gonna go to one have we seen a frequency of one before no we haven't so we can put it into our set here and um, we're good to go and I think one thing I forgot to mention actually and it's quite important that we need to track how many times we um, decremented right because that's actually what we want to return so for the a obviously we didn't do anything for the B um, you know we did it once so obviously you know we start at zero then we get to the B we have a plus one increment here and then for the C we also do one so in total we have removed two characters and that's what we want to return at the end so once we process our dictionary and go through this process then we'll simply return the number of times that we incremented this count variable and that's how we want to solve this problem conceptually now let's go to the code editor and actually write the code for this and it's actually quite simple so I'll see you back there okay we're back in the code editor now let's write the code remember that what we want to do is track the number of deletions that we've made uh, in order to get our character frequencies unique so what we want to do is we want to set up a variable to track those deletions so we're gonna say deletions is gonna be equal to zero because obviously we haven't made any deletions yet so it should be initialized to zero the next thing that you remember that we need is going to be a dictionary which maps the characters in our string and then the value is going to be their frequency so let's define that so we're gonna say character counts is going to equal collections.counter of s and if you don't have collections.counter in your language which you won't unless you're using Python essentially what it is it's just syntactic sugar around um, you know creating a dictionary and then incrementing the key for each value that we see in some sort of iterable uh, it just does this for us in a nice one-liner and it returns the dictionary that we need so what this is gonna return is uh, you know for each of the characters in s it's gonna return um, you know them as a key and then it's gonna have their value be their character frequency so it's just a nice one-liner don't worry about it if you don't have it in Python um, just calculate the frequencies by hand cool what we need now is we're gonna need a set to keep track of the you know character counts that we've used so far so let's do that so we're gonna say frequency set is just gonna be an empty set and now remember that we need to iterate over the key value pairs of our character counts dictionary so we're gonna say for character count in um, character counts dot items we want to say okay 
while the count that we're working with is greater than zero and uh, count is in unique, oh, not unique, uh, we want to call this frequency set. What we want to do here is we want to say, okay, let's decrement the count. So we're going to try to go to a lower count and hopefully we haven't seen it before. And the reason that we have count greater than zero is because um, if count equals to zero, that means we've just deleted the character completely and we can actually ignore um, zeros. If you look at this example three, um, you know, you only care about characters that are still in the string in the end. So basically we can ignore uh, frequencies of zero. So if we have to delete a character completely, that's fine. We're allowed to do that. So that's the reason why we have this uh, while count greater than zero. Uh, so essentially what we do is we decrement the count in hopes of finding a count that's not in frequency set yet. And each time we do that, again, we're basically doing a deletion. So we have to say deletions plus equals to one. And when this while loop breaks, either you know we'll have deleted the string entirely or we'll have found a frequency that works. So now all we need to do is we need to add to our frequency set that we've seen this new frequency and that way we, we won't use it again. So we're gonna say frequency set dot add and we're gonna say, we're gonna add the count. So at this point, you know we'll go through all the key value pairs like we did in the example and at the end, we will have you know, decremented the minimum amount of times and we will have our solution. So all we need to do now is just return our deletions variable and that's gonna be our solution. So let's submit this, make sure that it works. And it does, cool. So let's think about the um, time and space complexity for this algorithm. So time complexity wise, what we need to do is build this you know, collections.counter right <clears throat> so we can think of this as being a big o of n operation because it's going to depend on the number of characters in our um you know counts here so um or sorry the number of characters in our string s so you know this is going to be a big o of n and then obviously we have to go through each character and count iteration which is going to be another big o of n operation um <clears throat> excuse me uh, so that's just, you know, it's going to be big O of 2n, but asymptotically, this is just big O of n. Now we get to the space complexity. And the space complexity is actually a bit weird. You may think that it's big O of n, but I think it's actually going to be a constant space allocation. And here's why. Hear me out. What is the maximum size of our character counts? Well, there's going to be a maximum of 26 characters. Why? Because there's only 26 lowercase English letters, right? That's the only thing that we're working with in this problem. <clears throat> so that means we know off the bat that our character counts can only have at a maximum 26 spaces uh, for the keys. <clears throat> so we can consider this actually a um, constant space allocation. Now, for the actual frequency set, you know, it would be dependent on the you know uh, frequency of the characters here so in the worst case it's actually going to be um, you know big O of I think it's going to be n because we could have n separate um, characters here so for the actual frequency set this part would be big O of n because I believe it depends on the number of unique um, <clears throat> characters uh, character frequencies in s so it looks like this portion will be big O of n, whereas this character counts will be big O of one, but obviously asymptotically, this is gonna be big O of n. So I think that's gonna be our time and space complexity for this problem, and that's how you solve this question. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if there's any other videos you'd like me to solve, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. And in the meantime, happy coding, bye.